Well, there's always excitement at Orangi, but when we get into the second week, it goes up just another notch. Really intense atmosphere around here, an awful lot of people in watching this morning. And the reason for that is that they can get a glimpse of Andy Murray, the number four seed, just taking a little drink there. He's been hitting back with Oliver Golding. Oliver Golding was the first junior boy in Britain to take a, a slam junior title since Andy Murray. That was last year, he won the US Open boys title. He's on the other end of the court and there's Ivan Lendl in the center, smiling and looking relaxed in his trademark shades. The eight time Grand Slam champion who's been working with Andy Murray since the beginning of this year. Interesting articles in the papers this morning as I was reading on the way in on the tube. People were asking Ivan Lendl how he was able to stay so cool and so calm and emotionless uh, whilst watching the match against Baghdadis. And he said, well, I'm now caddying for my children and I don't want to transfer any nerves to them when I'm caddying for them when they're playing golf. And it's exactly the same with Andy on a bigger stage. And of course, Lendl was the master of keeping his nerves under control. And so far... Touchwood, fingers crossed, this is a partnership that seems to be working really well between Ivan Lendl and Andy Murray. We were waiting for our accreditation when the uh, popular Scott walked in and he signed all sorts of autographs and looked fairly calm and looked relaxed. And he and Oliver just exchanging some shots here. And Jeff, if you just pan up just above where Oliver's standing, you'll get a glimpse of just how many people are crowding round the practice courts to get a view of Andy. And quite nice that the weather's cleared. It was very, very windy and wet this morning and it did look as though we were going to be waiting a long time for action, but things are underway. And there is such a huge expectation about this match. Of course, we do need fair weather for this one because Andy's on court number one. So there's the British contender. And if Jeff follows me down here, and we go down the stairs. Again, we're just keeping our volume down a little tiny bit because we are here at the practice course. Good morning. Jeff, if you look there in the green T-shirt, Marin Cilic, who will be facing Andy Murray later on. Now, he trails 5-1 in head-to-heads. Marin Cilic, the big Croatian, not as big as Ivo Karlovic, but fairly close. What is he? Six foot five, the number 16 seed who came through that marathon third round match against Sam Quiry. 17-15 in the third round. He had yesterday to recover, of course. Always traditionally a rest day here at Wimbledon, except in cases of very, very poor weather. And we've been pretty lucky so far. The weather has been good. But there is Marin Cilic, Andy Murray's opponent this afternoon. And it's worth reminding ourselves that Cilic is a classy opponent, comes here, won Queens of course, courtesy a little bit of now Bandian's histrionics in the final there in West London. But Cilic arrives in good form and he will be no easy opponent for Andy Murray. People are already saying that Andy needs to get to the final after Rafael Nadal getting knocked out last week. But Cilic, also looking relaxed, is seriously, seriously pumped up for this match. Goran Ivanisevic is here watching him as he was on Saturday. So the two contenders for the match that most British people will be watching this afternoon on the practice courts here at Orangi, looking relaxed, looking focused and looking ready, as are we. What a great afternoon it's going to be here. We're in the second week and you can really feel things starting to hot up nicely.